Okay, so a paraglider wing versus a paramotor wing. What is the difference? Absolutely nothing. There is no such thing. A piece of okay. cloth absolutely does not know if it's carrying 250 pounds of fat guy or 250 pounds of skinny guy with a motor. Weight is weight is weight. Cloth, it's impossible. The cloth doesn't have a brain. It doesn't think, it doesn't go, oh, this guy has 250 pounds of aluminum under him. I've got to change what I do. Basically, if they promote a wing for paramotoring, it just means it sucks so horribly bad that no paraglider pilot would ever fly it. Because no paraglider pilot would ever fly that garbage. Why? Because it doesn't glide, has, doesn't have the low sink rate, it doesn't have the speed, it doesn't have the safety, it doesn't have the stability, it's not easy to launch, it's way too heavy. So every single characteristic that you want for paragliding, which is a high glide ratio, a low sink rate, speed, handling, safety, stability, sound familiar? That's exactly what we want for paramotoring. So the very best glider for paragliding is also the very best glider for paramotoring. Identically exact same wing, no difference whatsoever, absolutely zero. There's no such thing as a paramotor wing. It's all about marketing BS. These gliders are so horrible it's based on characteristics. It's not about opinion. It's about what's the glide ratio? What's the sink rate? What's the handling? What's the speed? What's the stability? What's the safety? What's the feedback and feel? I mean, you take all the characteristics and you just go through the characteristics. It's like either it has a lower sink rate or it doesn't. We did a side-by-side -side glide comparison with a 16 square meter dominator versus a 29 square meter uh, Dudek hoax flex death trap. 16 square meter versus 29 square meter. Shut off the motors. Which one do you think sinks faster? 16, 29, you're right. The 16, <laughs> almost half the size, the dominator obliterated it and just uh, destroyed these gliders. So the 16 had a lower sink rate and a higher glide ratio which is faster, the Dominator, which is slower for easy launch, the Dominator. The, uh, those gliders are so difficult to launch, it can be literally physically impossible at high altitude because they don't build lift until a much higher speed because the lift is so horrible because they're so inefficient. And then you got things like handling. Well, you saw us doing acro on the Dominator. It handles like a dream. Those handle so horribly bad they actually had to create secondary toggles just to make them turn. But you don't quite realize that because they have dual brake toggles. So the gliders handle so bad in death trap mode that you then have to grab a second set of toggles, which is called tip steering. And it pulls down the tip of the wing to create a drag turn. So if you create drag on this side, it turns that way. So literally, they handle so bad that they they have to use tip steering. But then think about that one. Now you don't have any hands in the brakes. How do you control the pitch? You can't. Pilot has no control of the glider other than minor directional input. You got nothing. So if your motor died 20 feet off the ground, you can't flare. There's no pitch control. All you have is wing tips, which do nothing but create drag. It won't do anything, so it won't flare the glider. So literally they would be unsafe to fly low. And of course they're unsafe to fly high because they're just so dang deadly. So the best glider for paragliding is the best glider for paramotoring, which is the Dominator. It's all about the characteristics. So it's, it's what you want. If you fly off a hill, you want a nice high glide ratio, low sink rate so that the rising air is rising faster than you're sinking so that you can stay up. You want it to handle well and you want it to be fast so you can penetrate the wind without getting blown back over the mountain. And you need it stable and safe with collapse recovery. Dominator, that'd be the ultimate for either paragliding or paramotoring. So just that one single wing is the ultimate for both. Until something beats it, it it's not about opinion. If it has better characteristics, it wins. It's pretty simple. So I've offered $5,000 cash to anyone who could produce a glider that would literally beat the dominator for i don't know how many years probably eight nine years 
I've had that out there. I'm like, dude, bring me a glider that beats the Dominator, characteristic for characteristic, I'll give you five grand. Just to tell me which one it is. <laughs> it's not rocket science, if it was better, it's better. I want it. Shoot, I'd love a glider that would beat the Dominator. I've been flying that thing for years. You always want the newest, late, you know, you always want to upgrade. It's like, I want something better, I want something better. So I would love to get something better if there was something better. It's just humiliation. I don't understand why designers of wings uh, aren't trying to make the best that they can make. Why are they? Well, that's a logical question it's because they're not, they're not trying. They're trying to make money. They don't give a crap about the product. They just spend the money on advertising. It's the craziest thing. It's like, Dell computers. They don't even try and build a good computer. They build the worst heinous pile of crap and sell it for the highest money they can. It's incompatible, snail paste, rapidly obsolete, expensive junk full of bugs and it's full of spyware right from the factory. The uh, I actually utterly destroyed at the I won the uh, NVIDIA World System Builder Award. NVIDIA actually had a competition to all the system builders, computer builders, to build the fastest computer for the money. I didn't <clears throat> just win, I won by over 30%. Because I was actually trying to build the best while other companies are trying to make money as their only goal. It's like what brand of motherboard is in an Apple computer? Apple doesn't make motherboards. You don't know. What brand of RAM is in an Apple computer? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? What brand of hard drive? You don't know. What brand of anything? You don't know. An Apple Mac is a totally generic computer. All it says is Apple on the outside. Apple doesn't build anything. It's like if you went to Shopco and bought an $800 computer and put a Mac logo on it, that would be a Mac. They literally buy all the pieces from the lowest brand because people don't know that they want an Asus motherboard and you know Dominator RAM and a Samsung hard drive and all the fast and you know best components. Only the computer geeks know they want these computers, so we all build our own computers and simply assemble all of the best components into one single unit. I built my first computer. Same sort of thing. There you go. Yep. Very simple. If you know what to get. Bought a case. <laughs> bought, a, bought a motherboard. But just like your question, why don't they build the best? Because then Apple can sell ignorant people a $3,500 computer that costs them a thousand to build. That's why it's all about making money. It's not about building the very best product. Almost no companies out there but have it, the goal of building the best. It seems like it's different with the wing though, because it's just a piece of fabric. You know, you think yep. that the designers are really striving to make the very best because I mean, they do come out with new models all the time. So yep. why wouldn't it be better? Why isn't it better? The, well, there's, remember they come out with new models all the time. Think of that for a second. How much can you do with a piece of cloth? It's well, just, there's all kinds of subtle things you can do. Sort of, there's only so much you can do. So basically, they're thriving their goal is sales so they release a new glider basically every year like a whole bunch of new gliders every year scheduled simple that's what they're going to do here's a new glider this is the year it doesn't matter that it's not as good as the old one they have to release a new glider so just because you're buying a new one yeah because everybody one. thinks <laughs> the new glider's better they don't even test it they don't even compare it to the old glider they just assume, oh, it's a new glider, it must be better. And then the company says, oh yeah, this has the new ASC technology and VFR and this and that and cross ridging and blah, blah, blah. And look, gives you a whole load of crap that don't mean diddly dang dong. Just like Ozone's claiming, we got shark nose technology with a special aerodynamic shape that makes it way better, blah, blah, blah. And then the Dominator kicks the crap out of it. Why is the Dominator setting a world speed record at 51 miles an hour if their shark nose is better? It would do 52, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's not better. They release new gliders. So now think about it. What do they do with the old glider? Pawn them off. But see, they can't keep <laughs> selling that because they're gonna look stupid if they keep selling the old glider. So now they gotta move to their new glider. So I buy 
the best glider Sky ever made and they actually sold it to me. <laughs> they sold me the rights to the, to the Dominator and now they continue to produce gliders that aren't as good simply because people are ignorant and they don't know. It's a crazy, stupid, and then these gliders are a perfect example, not the Dominator, but the crap death traps. Somehow, Paramania did a whole bunch of marketing and a whole bunch of idiots start buying it, and then all of a sudden, companies start making it because people are buying it. They know it's not better, they know it's a death tap, even Ozone has right on their website saying you should not fly these gliders in turbulence. They do not recover well from collapses. I mean, they basically admit it's a total death trap, but they sell them because people buy them. It's all about money. They're not even trying. And what's really retarded is they are going backwards. They're getting worse. The Dominator is utterly destroying their uncertified class gliders, and it's still a beginner class certified glider. So it's like, here I am sitting with the best glider I've ever seen, hoping I find something better, but companies are getting worse, not better. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's like, you know, you hear me say, all the companies but me are dishonest. It sounds a little weird at first, but then think about it. If Toyota makes the best truck, will Chevy ever in a million years admit Toyota's better? No, never. They're not gonna be honest. BMW's never gonna to admit Toyota built a better truck. Mercedes is never ever in a million years gonna admit that Toyota's better. All of them lie. They just promote, it's all promotion BS. I'm the only one that goes test all the new gliders and go, hey, this one's the best. And the manufacturers actually hate that because they thrive on ignorance. Not to mention, they intentionally sell you crappy gliders. Like if you go to those guys, they will intentionally to tell you to buy a piece of crap oh you're new you got to start with this glider and they know it sucks so bad that in three to six months you're going to buy a new one and then in three to six months they're going to sell you one that doesn't suck quite as bad but still sucks and so in another three six months to a year you're going to buy another one and another they can sell you five gliders by the time you actually figure out the scam or you don't you still don't figure it out you just keep buying the new glider every year oh i gotta get something better i gotta get something better and preying off of ignorance instead of selling one glider, which obviously I don't make near as much money selling one glider. And then next year you go, hey, I want the new latest and greatest. I'm like, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't any better. I don't know of it any better. So it's, oh, yeah, yeah it's, manufacturers get upset with me for telling the truth because they don't want that truth out there because it's all about the money. So here I am telling the truth and it's a weird sales pitch because I'm the only one doing it. So it works. It's like I have my little niche in the market, which is just be honest. How's that for goofy? It's very, it's very strange competing against total blatant dishonesty and fraud because while they make up every lie they can possibly think up about me to try and discredit me and make people think like, oh, you buy from Dell, you're a jerk. What the freak? Is it better or is it not better? It's, it has nothing to do with it. It's all about total load of crap. It's the craziest thing. You know, mom taught you that if you made a better mousetrap, people would beat a path to your door. You're gonna try but it. But it ain't true.